folks. Welcome to another set of ICP video notes. Today we're going to talk about Newton's first law, otherwise known as the law of inertia. So first let's think about this. In order for an object to keep moving after it's been pushed, do you have to keep pushing on it or does there have to be an unbalanced force acting on it? The answer is no. Unbalanced forces only change the motion so it could slow it down or speed it up. The ancient Greeks, when they thought about it, it was a very simplistic view. They thought if I push an object, it stops moving if I stop pushing it. Well, later in the early 1600s, Galileo came around and said, what if the objects will keep moving if there's not a force opposing them? Or if there were no friction? Like if we were in the middle of interstellar space and we threw a ball, it would just keep going because there's no friction or air resistance to push it the opposite way. So in other words, it doesn't take a force to keep the object moving. It takes that force of friction to slow it down and eventually stop it. Enjoy this nice video of some astronauts eating lunch on a spaceship. Presented by Volkswagen. You don't know new and Notice how the objects were always in motion. They didn't have any forces to stop them from moving. There is no gravity where they're at and there's no air resistance. So when they set the taco here and they let go of it, it might have applied a very small force to it when they let go. It just kept moving. Later on, Sir Isaac Newton came up with a revised theory of Galileo's and he called it Newton's first law of motion. Newton's first law states that an object at rest stays at rest and an object in motion stays in constant motion or constant velocity unless it's acted on by some outside force. We call this inertia. Inertia is the property of an object to remain at rest or in a constant state of motion. We also like to refer to inertia as a resistance to the change in motion. So when we talk about Newton's first law and you're asked questions about it, you're going to be asking what forces, what net forces we have, things that we've already been doing, and how that affects the motion. Does it slow it down, speed it up? If there's a balanced force and the object is already moving, does it keep moving or does it slow down for some reason? 